Eneo la Kibra jijini Nairobi ni miongoni mwa mitaa ambayo imekuwa ikingangana na ukosefu wa choo za kutosha. Na choo ambazo watu huenda kwa karatasi al maarufu flying toilets limekuwa tatizo sugu katika eneo hili. Lakini kwa sasa kuna mpango mpya ambao unatumia choo ambayo watu wanaenda katika karatasi kuunda mbolea ambayo inatumika katika kukuza mimea tumetembelea eneo la ukusanyaji wa kinyesi na kukutana na mama Ruth Auma. Ni mama wa watoto watatu ambaye pia hujulikana kama mama Obama. Mimi ni collectors community collector. Yeah. So, kazi yako ina inaanzaje hapa ikiwa kwenye kituo hiki cha ukusanyaji ama kabla kufike hapa? Kabla nifike kwa hii drop point. Mi wa mkatoa asubuhi naenda ku collect people door to door kila mlango yenye na use people nikisha collect na zileta hapa zinakuja kuhesabiwa zinaandikwa records zangu vile wanafanya kazi katika makazi ambayo majirani wengi hawana kazi shughuli hii inafanya maisha ya mama Obama kuwa afueni kidogo naifurahia sababu first haichukui time kubwa nachukua time kidogo masaki machache sana nishaingiza kitu kwa siku Titus Mutiso ni baadhi ya vijana waliopata ajira katika kituo cha ukusanyaji wa pipu Kwa hii kazi kuna wale watu wako na negative attitudes kwa sababu anasema kinyezi si mzuri Wanasema inafaa mimi watu wanaweza leta fio zingine mara wanasema ukishikashika kinyezi unaweza kuwa mgonjwa lakini sisi kama yudhi wa imta, si tumechukua kama ni kazi. Tunaifanya, area yetu imekuwa safi, na pia runa, tunapata pesa za kujitengemea. Naye Yunis Akinyi anausika na mauzo ya mifuko ya pipu mtaani kibra. Hii mradi wakati ilingia pa Kenya, kuna mzunga alikuja anaitwa Kamila yenda leti mradi Kenya na vile ileta Kenya kuyusa ilikuwa ngumu nikafanywa my interview nikafanywa nini training training mingi ili kujua vile anaweza kuifanya nini kuyuza mpaka sasa nimeelewa kuyuza na inanisaidia kwa sababu saina hasa kujilipia nyumba nyumba nilikuwa naishi ya elfu moja saina hizi kwa ile ya elfu tatu ina manisa imenisongesa juu kidogo na naweza kufanya biashara yake vizuri sana hmm sasa hebu tueleze ukichukua unachukua kwa fedha ngapi kwa tuseme kwa siku alafu ukiuza unaweza unda kama pesa ngapi kwa siku kuchukua nachukua box moja kwa mia sita. hiyo box nausa kwa elfu moja. kwa hivyo faida yangu ni mia ine. kwa siku hiyo box naweza kuusa kama kumi roll kumi hivi siku nyingine nusu hizo roll kumi nizibaki kwa hivyo naweza kuuza roll ishirini kwa siku ngapi mbili yenye nimepata mia yangu ine ile ya juu. Sasa hiyo naona ni faida kwangu. Baada ya kukusanywa, kinyesi hicho husafirishwa hadi eneo la kuhifadhiwa. Hapa huwekwa kwenye mifuko kila mmoja likichukua wiki nne kabla ya kuwa tayari. Jacob Mule husimamia shughuli za ukusanyaji na utayarishaji wa mbolea hii after all the people are collected from the drop points from the schools this where we we like put them all together in very big bags and the big bags hold each like 600 people in each bag and this is where now the people have to be here for another four three to four weeks before now they are ready to be taken to to the farmers before they are ready actually to be used for in the in the farms yeah How many collection points do you have in the entire Kibera? Uh, currently we have three drop points. We have what we call the drop points, which are down in Silanga village. We have one in uh, uh, Linsaba village and another one in Lindi village. But also the uh, aggregation yard itself is also a collection point. But uh, also we have another one in, uh, in Kianda village, where we, we, like, actually what we do, 
the villages, the major three drop points are based in Silanga, Lindi, and Lainsaba. But now, the rest, here the aggregation yard is for those schools which don't fall under those villages, under Line Saba, Silanga, and Lindi. Wakulima pia huagiza mbolea kulingana na maitaji ya mashamba yao. Mradi huu pia umekuwa na manufaa ya kiafya katika eneo la makazi finyu kama kibra ambapo magonjwa kama ya kuendesha huibuka mara kwa mara. Tulikutana na Fatma Hajib, mhudumu wa afya kwenye zaanati ya kibra Amref Health Center. Kabla tujaanza hii miradi ya pipo, tulikuwa na flying toilets mingi sana na tulikuwa tunapata magonjwa mengi inayosababishwa na hizo flying toilets kama kuhara na kutapika. But since implementation ya pipu ime reduce kidogo. Um percentage nzasema ni 65%. Because atwezi sema 100%, ndio pia tunazingatia sana mambo na watu ku treat maji yao. Yeah. Hayakomei hapo. Naibu chifu Ali Guyo wa eneo la laini saba Kibra anaeleza manufaa ya mradi wa pipu. Wa vijana example ni hawa tu wale kuna wengine hata walikuwa wanafanya watu magging you can bear witness si ndio yeah lakini vile sasa wamepata hapo employment kwanza manager alikuwa si Ben yeah Bernard Rasta ule yes ile mshahara hata alikuwa anapatiwa wa managers wengi wapati unaona so yeye yeah, pia alikuwa na vikundi ya wa vijana aliweza ku work into this project wasichana kwa wavulana so katika hiyo hali wa vijana waliweza kubadilika na wakaweza kujisaidia. My name is Jacqueline Ogutu. I'm the assistant administrator of People Pool Kenya. Yeah, my my role in the in in, in People Pool Kenya has been assist, assisting in the administration work and uh, doing data and uh, I've also been out in the field yeah in the com doing community work there was a, a, a challenge when it, it came to like implementing this kind of program in schools with we, a challenge of space most schools in Kibera had no space at all some had very little space some had no space at all so hygienically we find it, it all goes with space where they, it, it, it's congested Hygiene is becomes hard to be practiced. Like for, I can give an example, what we do in schools, when when a school like for example has a space, we construct things called cabins to provide privacy for using this kind of bags. But for a school with no space or no 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 space at all, we normally give tents also to provide space. So that be, became a very Great challenge. Tulipata fursa ya kuzuru shule moja ya msingi mtaani Kibra. Watoto pia hawajasazwa kwa tatizo la ukosefu wa vioo. Na hapa uvumbuzi wa pipu bugs umebadilisha mazingira ya masomo. Ann Wamboi ni mwalimu mkuu wa shule ya Anwa Junior Academy. It was really bad because I had just to let them go home. One, the school didn't have a toilet or latrine and therefore what I had to do was I gave the children uh, th that permission they need to relieve themselves and therefore they have to relieve themselves there's no uh, toilet in school so I had to give them permission to go home to relieve themselves there the biggest problem about that was that many of them didn't come back to school after going and we didn't know where to find them so you could think you could find child, I mean the parents think the children are in school and we think the children have gone to relieve themselves instead of that they have gone to do other things na pilka pilka na vituko vya mitaa ya mabanda viliwanasa baadhi ya wanafunzi there were many cases of pregnancy if i can remember because if big girls ask for permission to go home for for a short call and there is no teacher going with them because we couldn't they come from not just near distances some of them come from far distances and therefore we couldn't just uh, accompany them 
lakini alipoleta mifuko ya pipu kwa wanafunzi kutumia bila malipo idadi ya wanafunzi pia iliongezeka there was like a mushrooming of children i didn't even know where to start i was just to come to a, a, a point and say stop now i don't want more children kwa upande mwingine mradi huu umefanikisha usalama haswa kwa akina mama na watoto ambao awali iliwabidi waondoke nje saa za usiku kujisaidia Adelaide Hachiti mkazi wa kitongoji cha Silanga Kibra ameitumia mifuko ya pipu kwa miaka mitatu Imebadilisha maisha kivipi Po watoto wange weza kutoka nje chucho za huku si mzuri sana Mtoto anaweza ingia za zingine hiyo cho imeja na apata hata magonjwa zingine za kuharisha hapo si mzuri sana ndio maana tukapendelea hizi pipo hiki ndicho kifurushi cha pipu na ndani yake utapata makaratasi 28 huwa kinauzwa katika maduka eneo la Kibra kwa shilingi hamsini. na karatasi hii imeundwa kwa njia speciali kwamba ikiingia mchangani inayeyuka na kuunda mbolea lakini je mbolea hii ni salama kiafya here we are talking of uh, treated human waste uh, aimed for use right and they indicate their their their, their standard method and standard recommendations and they say if you get this organism at this level it's not acceptable if this organism has been reduced to this level then it's acceptable and that's what we have been using so we use the WHO or better still uh, combine that with the European uh, Union standards uh, which of course is in line with the uh, NEMA for disposal of human waste or for reuse. Ni mtaalamu wa maabara katika chuo kikuu cha Nairobi, Tawi la Kabete. Teknolojia hii ilivumbuliwa nchini Uswidi na tayari imeanza kutumiwa na wakulima haswa katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga. Tutaelekea huko kutembelea wakulima na mashamba yao tukitazama ufanisi wa mbolea hii. Tumepiga hatua za moja kwa moja hadi kaunti ya Kirinyaga kupata tathmini ya jinsi wakulima wanavyotumia mbolea iliyotengenezwa kutoka kwa kinyesi cha binadamu almaarufu pipu. Tupo kwenye eneo bunge la Gishugu. Eneo hili ni la vilima na ukulima haswa wa kahawa na majani chai hufanywa kwa wingi. Hata hivyo, wakulima wadogo pia hupanda maharagwe na kufanya ufugaji. Shamba la kwanza tumezuru ni la Gerald Ireri. Ni mpanzi wa ndizi, kahawa na maharagwe kwenye kipande cha ekari moja. Niliweka sehemu moja ya e, nusu, nikabakisha kule kwingine nusu na kuko kwingine na nitaendelea na kuweka. Na nikaona nini tabauti ya kule niliweka na kule sinjawe nini sinjaweka. Ireri alipanda kwa majaribio ya nusu debe la maharagwe na anaonelea kwamba atapata maradufu ya mazao ya kawaida kutokana na mbolea hii. Ireri pia alifanya majaribio kwenye mimea ya kahawa na matokeo ni yayo hayo. Ni mkulima mashuhuri. <laughs> Jirani yake Zipora Mumbi alijumuishwa kwenye mfumo huu wa kutumia mbolea ya pipu. Mm, vile nisikia mwanzo nilikuwa resistant kidogo ndio nilikuwa na sijui sinjaelewa vizuri pipo ndio gani na uzuri wake. Lakini nilienda kuangalia kwa jirani mwingine mwenye alikuwa ameweka kwanza, nikaona kawa yake imefanya vizuri na nyasi pia alikuwa ameweka na ilikuwa inafanya vizuri so na mimi nikakumbariana sasa kuweka tofauti na ireri aliyegemea maharagwe zipora alizingatia zaidi kahawa yeye pia alifanya majaribio kwa kutia mbolea kwenye mimea ya eneo moja la shamba ili abainishe tofauti kwa kweli hii mahali nimeweka pipo inaonekana iko na masao mzuri kawa yake mbegu ni kubwa nono lakini mahali yenye sijaweka pipo iko na mbegu kido imezaa kidogo kidogo na mbegu yake ke pia ni nyembamba. Mumbi anasema kuwa mbolea hii imepunguza gharama ya kununua mbolea 
kwani awali ingemgaribu shilingi 1020 lakini sasa anaweka kiasi cha lori mbili ambazo humgarimu shilingi 1000 kumi tu sasa nimeangalia na nimeona pipo inafanya vizuri na masao yake ni mzuri kompia ndina vile nilikuwa nalima awali <laughs> Francis Njagi amehusika pakubwa kwa kueneza ujumbe wa mbolea ya pipu eneo la Kadhugune, kaunti ya Kirinyaga. Hebu tuelezee mkianza mradi huu, watu walikuwa na utazama kwa namna gani? Sida, sida, walikuwa na shida kidogo kidogo hivi. Walikuwa wakisema hii fertilizer sio fertilizer, ni mbolea tunatolewa na Robi kaletwa hapa. Nikawaambia hebu tufanye kitu tunaita test. Tuone ita fanya vipi lakini ilibidi shamba lake mwenyewe lidhihirishe ukweli wa mambo wakati tulianza nikaona mimi kwangu pahali nilikuwa nikipanda vitu nikaona imenisaidia sana watu wengi wakakuja wakasema ni ukweli sasa wakaanja kuniambia embu hata sisi turete kwa wakati mmoja Francis aliripotiwa kwa chifu na watu walioshuku dhamira yake ya kuwaletea mbolea iliyotengenezwa kwa kinyesi cha wanadamu Tulimpata chifu huyo Silas Kinywa. Huyu uh, mlandu ulipoingia hapa mimi ni imeje tinaimba wa yule ambaye alikunja uh, kujaribiwa. Na ninaona watu wengi walikuja kulipoti kwa sababu hawakuwa wameona jambo kama hilo. Wakakunja kulipoti ya kwamba hii kitu imekunja hapa ni mbaya. Lakini niliwaambia ni vizuri kungonja tuone na tutulie na kama kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kunja kutufunza ndio tuweze kunjua aswa ni nini kwa sababu huwezi kulaumu tu na haunjaona mbali na kuongoza kwa mfano kinywa ameweza kuokoa fedha na kununua mbolea mbali na kuzalisha mazao zaidi vijana wakichukulia hii mbolea ama hii product ya pipo itakuwa na umuhimu mkubwa katika maisha yao kwa ukulima kwa sababu hata vipande vile ambavyo wanavyo vya mashamba si kubwa na production ya pipo ukilinganisha na mbolea zile zingine iko juu sana kwa hivyo naimisa vijana kwa sababu ya ile mbei ya fertilizer zile tunajua iko juu sana na ukilinganisha na pipo pipo mbei ni iko chini kabisa kwa hivyo nawahimisa wajukulie kwa muhimu kwa muhimu pipo na waitumie na maisha yao yataendelea vizuri. Mark na Maswa, Mazingira, KTN News.